Praise the Lord. She's still suffering the pain of the MS. Oh, yes. That's right. Good. I'm glad your sons and family got over the cover. We'll be praying for those that are suffering MS. Yes. The Lord is a healer. Amen. Amen. I pray for the success of our Bible study on today. Remember all the bereaved families and people in all walks of life. Continued prayer for people that are in the path of Ian. Yes. Because yes. that's it is gone straight up the coast, the east coast. Yes. My Lord. That hurricane is still going.
Amen? All right. So we see here in Galatians chapter number 6, and it's important. Let me read that first verse. It says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, he, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. And we have to remember how the structure of the letters are, these letters that we are reading. Uh, we're reading today out of the book of Galatians, chapter number 6. And we have to remember that they, they became chapters when uh, they started to revise in the letters. So what I'm trying to say is, when Paul wrote this, there was no chapters. It was just one letter. Man divided up, hopefully through the inspiration of God, <laughs> into chapters. Mm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. I sometimes I humor myself. <laughs> but we, we, we hope that. Amen. But the letter itself, we know that it was inspired by God. Men wrote as they were moved, the scripture says, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Spirit. So it was one letter. And the reason why I say that is, is uh, when we think here then, uh, <coughs> if any man be overtaken in a fall. So Paul is looking at us as a family. You know, the body of Christ is a family. That's why he calls us brothers. Amen? Are we our brother's keepers? Yes. yes. Amen? We are our brother's keepers. We are helpers one to another. So he says, family, if any be overtaken in a fault. Overtaken in a fault. Now we're talking about tonight spiritual restoration and what our responsibility is to help our brethren that are our family members that have been overtaken in a fall. So uh, he said, brethren, if any man be overtaken in a fall. Now, a fall is uh, a sin or a misconduct that, that happens Suddenly, uh, a person uh, is, is overwhelmed with temptation and they find themselves committing an act of sin. What he's not talking about is a person uh, that is living a lifestyle of sin. It's a difference. He's not talking about a person that is willfully sinning. He's not talking about that. He's not talking about a person who deliberately in their mind are committing sin. Right. He's not talking about that. He's talking about a brother or a sister who is, is, is for whatever reason find themselves overtaken in sin. The temptation becomes so overwhelming for them and they find themselves uh, committing the act of sin. Now wait, I see. Uh, I'm gonna try to understand what the difference is. Amen. But that's very important. So he said, uh, brother, if a man be overtaken in a fall, a fall, fall into misconduct, a sudden uh, uh, temptation, overwhelming temptation. Uh, and, and the individual may be taken off guard by that, that uh, particular uh, temptation. It hits them. It hits her. And, and they fall off course. Fall different from an individual who is living a lifestyle of sin. People in the body, well, people in the church, they are uh, uh, living a lifestyle of sin and don't want to depart from that. 
Now, there's a difference. He's not talking about that. He's talking about those who are, 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 are dedicated to the Lord, serving the Lord, but, but sometimes fall into temptation. Uh, and we all uh, 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 could be this way. Amen? We're not, we're not exempt. <laughs> Would that be like when you're driving on the highway and you see everybody else speeding and you just get caught up and start speeding because everybody else is speeding? Well, uh, <laughs> a, little more, a little bit more serious than that. <laughs> but it's that of stuff that you just get caught <laughs> up with in the moment. Uh, I understand the example, uh, but it's a little bit more serious than that. You know, they, they may have, have uh, become overwhelmed, got caught up in adultery, oh. overwhelmed, got caught up in fornication, oh, overwhelmed, that's, that's got caught up in some scandal. Uh, uh, that, kind of, that kind of situation where it, it affects them. You know, it affects them and they are struggling to get off, get over the effect of it. Uh, they, they've done and committed an act and, and, and they, they are uh, in trouble trying to overcome it uh, and, and can't seem to shake it, can't seem to let it go. And the enemy is, is fighting their mind and and, and you know how he is, he's an accuser of a brother, beating them down uh, and, and making them feel unworthy. Uh, you know, you're with me? Overtaken. Uh, David, he was, in a sense, overtaken when he uh, went into Bathsheba. And, and the proof of that was, uh, he was in, he was, he didn't even, uh, he was acting as though and walking around as though he didn't do anything wrong. Mm. Uh, and then uh, God sent the prophet Nathan to him. Yeah. Uh, and when, when, when Nathan uh, came to David because he was overtaken, uh, when they came to the realization that he was overtaken, David immediately repented. Mm -hmm. uh, he turned his heart to God. Uh, that's the kind of, and, and David, he didn't want to live a sinful life, but, but, but the temptation was so overwhelming for him, he committed the sin and, 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 and fell out of rank with God. And when Nathan the prophet came to him, he restored David. Amen? That's what I'm talking about. Restoration. Go ahead. So like David, uh, it was sort of like a quick action to his what his flesh saw when he saw Bathsheba. Yes. It's like something happened quick. Quick. He didn't have time to think about it. It just his flesh got control of him. Got mind. control of him. Perfect. Yeah. Amen. Got control of him. Mm -hmm. If we're not careful, our flesh can take control of us without us really even realizing. Yeah. Uh, He's so caught up. Go but ahead. With, I think the, um, the whole scripture, I think it kind of says stop it before he commits the sin. Pardon me? I'm sorry. I think the whole scripture more or less says if you see it coming, stop him you don't before he commits the sin. Um, yes, that, that's true. And I don't think his fault is a sin. I think a it's fault a, it's is a sin. It's a sin. Fault is a sin. It's, the, it's misconduct. It's a sin. Yes, sir. And 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 um, if we can, if we can uh, intervene, just like you said, that would be perfect. That would be wonderful. You know what I mean? If somebody come to you and ask you for counsel, and you you recognize that what they are planning to do is sinful uh, and it's not a good uh, uh, place to be or do it, and they take heed to you, oh, that's perfect. You know, but people are not like that. <laughs> they might kill you. <laughs> Sometimes people do what they want to do. Right. Uh, and then, uh, uh, and afterward, you know, uh, the enemy, the enemy can uh, 
Against such there is no law. All right. Now that's a spiritual person. That's what he's talking about. Those that are operating in the fruit of the spirit. Amen. And then drop down there and read, read verse uh, uh, 25. If we live in the spirit, uh -huh. let us also walk in the spirit. Now, now that's, that's a spiritual individual. They're living in uh, the fruit of the Spirit. It's being produced in their life. And they're walking in it. Uh, they're living in it. They're allowing the fruit of the Spirit to manifest in their life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, that's important. Let's go back over then to verse number, uh, chapter number 6 and verse number 1. Read. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, uh -huh. ye which are spiritual, yeah. restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Now, he's saying that ye which are spiritual, uh, we're talking about spiritual restoration, uh, when, 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 when you see an individual that is struggling, that is <coughs> overtaken in a fault, uh, you which are walking in the spirit, you are mandated by God to restore such a one. Amen? Now, if you're not walking in the Spirit, you, you'll be condemning the individual. Uh, you'll be, you'll be uh, critical of the individual. That's why you need the fruit of the Spirit operating in your life. Amen? Do we, we, we understand that? Uh, it's necessary. If you're going to be an agent of change to help your brother and sister, you have to be walking in the Spirit. Uh, you have to have the anointing of God in your life. Amen? Uh, to, to do what? To restore such a one. Amen? Now, this, 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 now he says, restore such a one in what spirit? The spirit of what? Meekness, and that's a part of the fruit of the Spirit. Amen? That word meekness there means gentleness. Yeah. Uh, not be critical of the individual, but to be gentle toward the individual. Mm -hmm. Amen? Now, why, why do you have to be gentle toward the individual? Because the individual is wounded. Mm -hmm. The individual is hurt. Amen? The individual uh, uh, is being beat by Satan, and we that are spiritual have to show meekness to them, gentleness to them, and kindness unto them, love unto them, uh, and, 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 and to restore them. All right? Now, when it talks about restoring them, you got to look at this word as restore means literally a joint out of place. 
It literally means having a broken bone and resetting the bone. Amen? Uh, people who have been overtaken in a fault, they, they have been uh, broken and need to be restored to be set in place. I broke my arm. Uh, and, and I had to go to the doctor. And when I got to the doctor, they reset the bone. And then they put a cast on the bone. And that cast on, the, on my arm, I must have had it at least three to six months. Uh, so it took time to what? To what? Heal. To heal. And this is what Paul is talking about. When you're dealing with people that are broken, it's going to take time for them to heal. This is not a quick fix. Why? Because what they've done is, 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 is has, has, has destroyed them. What they've done has affected their spiritual walk with God. Huh? And it takes time to set them right. It takes time to mend them. Uh, it takes time to help them. Amen? Amen. Uh, it's like if your house were to catch on fire and, and, and not burn to the ground, but have some uh, 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 problems resulting in the fire, it won't get fixed overnight. But, uh, it takes time for it to get restored. Uh, it takes time for it to get renewed. Am I right? We, we have to work with people that, that, that have been overtaken in a fault and, and, and uh, we may work with them for months uh, trying to bring them out of their funk, to, to restore, to renew, to help them. Uh, and that's why you need the fruit of the Spirit. Long suffering, patience, gentleness, meekness, Love, patience. I said that. Uh, did I say that again? We said it again. Patience. <laughs> uh, amen. Oh, uh, why? Because they, they may not catch it all at once. Uh, some people are feeble minded. Uh, they may not get it uh, all at once. You follow me? People need help. And God has anointed the spiritual one uh, as an agent of help. Uh, a a car-minded person, uh, they, they won't provide what is needed and necessary to help their brother or their sister that has been overtaken in a fall. Yeah. That's why you got to walk in the spirit yeah. uh, and not fulfill the evil desires of the flesh. Mm -hmm. are, you, are, you, are, you, are you hearing me tonight? Amen. Um, thank you. Now notice this. Notice then what he said. Verse, verse, verse 6 and 1. Brother, if a man be what? Overtaken in a fall, ye which are what? Spiritual. Spiritual. Uh, now that's, a, that's, that's those that are walking in the Spirit, having the fruit of the Spirit being manifest in their life. Notice what he said. Restore, that means to set up a right. Uh, restore such a one how? In the spirit of what? And what does meekness mean? Gentleness. Gentleness. Kindness. Amen? Doesn't mean coming out their neck. Uh, it means restoring them in kindness. Gentleness. Amen? Hallelujah. Now go. Read first that verse. Restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, uh -huh. lest thy also be tempted. Now, now, uh, uh, you gotta, you gotta mend them. Restore means to mend, to set, to set it right. Uh, you gotta, uh, and, and that takes time. Amen. It's not an overnight thing. It's not a one phone call thing. <laughs> you follow? It takes time. Uh, to restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, doing what? Considering thyself. Uh, considering thyself now. Lest thou, Lest thou also be tempted. Uh, we should also fall into temptation. And there, he's literally talking about you don't be highlighted. Mm -hmm. uh, don't think that you are so much better than your brother or sister that has fallen. Like that can't happen to you. Huh? What you say? Yeah, 
Yeah, I said that uh, most people that are overtaken in the fault were relying on their flesh. Yeah. As far as uh, confidence in their confidence in their flesh, their flesh failed them. Ah, oh, you know. Yeah, but <laughs> when, when, when you but when you when, when you walking in the spirit, as someone said, there's no condemnation. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, I can do all things through Christ. Yeah. You know that, uh, you know, this flesh is, is a mess, as someone said. And you realize, I need the power of the Holy Ghost to help me. Uh -huh. And that's where you walk in. Yeah. And, and when he said, considering myself, least you also be tempted. He's talking about you having a superior mindset. You know, sometimes we can be thinking of ourselves uh, more highly than we are. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and look down on those that, that, that have been overtaken. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Uh, and he doesn't want us to uh, uh, have that mindset. Uh, at least also you be tempted. Because the scripture said Jesus brought that out beautifully. He said in the, in the Beatitudes, Matthew 5, 6, he said, whatever judgment you need, uh, the same judgment is going to come back on you. Yeah. Meaning, meaning, however you treat your brother or sister, uh, the same judgment is going to come back on you if you mistreat them. Y'all with me? Yeah. Uh, so we've got to be careful. We've got to be what? Careful. Amen? Uh, I have a rod. <laughs> you have a rod. We all need Jesus. Amen. We all need help. Uh, we all drink from the same cup. Amen. If you're like your family. Amen. Amen. And family needs help. Amen. Amen. And, if, and if it's in our power to help, we ought to help. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, and that help that, 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 that you are supplied. 
his life. He gave his life. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. He gave his life. <laughs> he gave all that he had. Uh, and I was going to give my life uh, for my brother and my sister. Am I Considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. All right, considering yourself, lest you also be what? Tempted. Tempted. Not, not having a superior uh, type of mind. Like I'm better than you. Condescending, looking down on anybody. James taught us that, didn't he? He said if a person come in uh, 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 low degree and uh, uh, because they're not of high status, you don't even sit them on the seat. He <laughs> said you sit them out of the seat. <laughs> but 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 what comes in and got high status, you put them on the on the pool. Uh, 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 God, he says it's God in respect of a person. Uh, God's not in respect of a person. Am I right? We ought to treat everybody alike. Everybody the same. Amen. Uh, all right. Now read verse it. I mean read verse two. Bear. Ye one another's burdens, uh -huh. and so fulfill the law of Christ. Now he says, "Do what? Bear one another's burdens." Yeah. Uh, when we get down in this chapter, he's going to talk about bear your own burden, right? So, so there's a difference between bearing one another's burdens and bearing your own burden. When he leaves here, when he says, "Bear."
children, yet a little while I am with you. Uh -huh. Ye shall seek me, and as I said unto thee, the Jews, whither I go, ye cannot come. Mm -hmm. So now I say unto you, a new commandment I give unto you. Now, these are Jesus' dying words. He's about to die. Amen? And these are his dying words, his, his last words, his last instructions to his, to his people. Amen? So he says what? What's he say? That ye love a new you. commandment. What is a commandment? It's a suggestion. It's an order. Huh? It's an order. So do I have an option? No. no. Uh, am I his disciple? Yeah. Are you his disciple? Yeah. So do you have an option to do this? No. It's an option. I give unto thee uh -huh. that ye love one another. Now, Lord, he said that ye love. Love one another. That you like one another. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the difference between liking and love? Uh -huh. Huh? Love is patient. Love is. Love is a, uh, you know, the 13th chapter of Corinthians. <laughs> love is a decision. Yeah. Oh, my God. Endure. Yeah, it's a decision. Uh, uh, I, can, I, can, I can like apples or not like it. Uh, that, that's not going to affect me. Uh, but, but, but when I make the decision to love you uh, or not to love you, that's going to affect me. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. uh, we should be glad that love is a decision. Yes. Because you know what I said? Somebody said, why do you say that? Why do you say that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, because, because we can love the wrong thing. Uh, so we got to decide to stop loving that wrong thing and love the right thing. You follow? Uh, sin is pleasurable. Amen? Oh, yeah. My mom went back to you asked a question, what did Jesus do to show his love toward us? Wow. So, so love is uh is a helper. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Jesus saw <coughs> that we was in trouble and he helped us out of trouble by giving his life. Yeah. Like you can do without. You can pass that by, say, well, you know, I don't just have to have that. I like it, but I don't need it. Right. Love is something you need in order to help. Yeah. yeah. It's a deeper commitment. Yes. Uh, like, like the scriptures he was getting ready to quote in Corinthians uh, 13. It beareth all things. Yes. It openeth all things. Yes. It endureth all things. Yes. It is patient. Mm -hmm. It is kind. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now I want faith open what? Charity. Mm -hmm. And the greatest of these three is what? Mm -hmm. And God is what? Mm -hmm. Love. Amen. Would, would you equate love with oneness? Ah, yes, sir. Because uh, you love yourself. You're patient with yourself. You know, uh, all those things Corinthians talk about, you are to yourself. Uh -huh. and, you, and you should extend that to other people. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and okay. Jesus, he talks about that. If you abide in me, uh, and my word abide in you, then he said, <coughs>
Because in the body of Christ we're all one. Yes. And it it uh, love uh, help us to uh, to to really support each other. Yes. In Christ. Wow. That's huge. Just think about it. I'm gonna get your sister Margaret and Deacon Bill. Just think about what she said. What she said, and I, I, my mind went to family. Any parent want their children to get along. To love each other to the bitter end. Yep. Amen. Regardless of what the other one does, they don't want their love to be broken. Huh? Am I right? Yes. How, if, if parents, mortal parents want that, how much more God? Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Sister Margaret, we need to be If we don't have unconditional love for one another like Jesus, then there will be chaos in the church. Absolutely. My God. Did you feel? You know, I used to think the reason God said thou shalt not kill is because he knows that people are going to push your buttons. <laughs> and when he say thou shalt love, he knows that the enemy is going to try to get in you to hate people right. and try to get revenge <coughs> and all the right. other things. So he wants to reiterate in you, right. uh, even when the enemy comes, you try to override that with love. Absolutely. Do I have to be right? No. Uh, uh, but I'm dealing with my mother and sister. Uh, what I mean by that, I'm going to be really clear about it. I know what you're saying. Uh, uh, if, we got, if we got an issue with one another, uh, do I have to be right? Uh, no. Uh, I can be, I can be right. Uh, but, but I'm not going to let that suffer. <coughs> Put a wedge in between us. Uh, that's what it means by as much as by a king live what? Peace with all men. Uh, 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 let me say it, and let me just be real for a minute. 
An example, we do when he was rebuking the Pharisees and the Sadducees, he was showing love. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. When, when uh, that Syrophoenician woman came to Jesus for her daughter's healing, uh, and Jesus said, hey, it's not me uh, to give the crumbs to the dogs. Uh, and the lady said, hey, but, but, but the, the, the dogs eat the crumbs and fall to the master's table. Yeah. Uh, Jesus didn't turn her away. Nope. Uh, she received the healing. She received Thank the deliverance. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <coughs> We, we, got to, we, got to, we got to see this thing the way he sees it. Thank you, Jesus. Not the way I see it. The way he sees it. Hallelujah. That's what matters. Amen? Thank the you. only thoughts that matter are the God's thoughts. Not my thoughts. Right. Huh? And I've got, to, I've got to wrestle with my own self. You've got to wrestle with your own self until you accept God's thoughts. Oh, right. Because there's something in you that wants to rise up. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Read that, read that 35th verse. By this shall all men know. Now notice what he said. By this shall what? All people know. Read. That ye are my disciples. My God. Read. If ye have love one to another. If you have love one to another. <coughs> Can I say something else? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you know why people get into games? Why? Because of the love. Go ahead, go ahead. Back to Because of the uh, love, it 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 kind of they think it's love, right? <laughs> but the enemy has another agenda. But um, it's uh, on the precipice of love actually, and acceptance. It's a false type of love, mm -hmm. but it's an affection that they're not getting somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So, it's an illusion. Mm -hmm. But that's the reason why people join the game. Mm -hmm. They get ostracized by uh, uh, society, but those gangsters show affection. Give them
It's a slippery slope from hate to murder. Yes. Because God says if you murder, if you hate your brother without a cause, you've already murdered him. That's true. So, boy, do we have to? We don't want that murder sentence on us. No. Because if God puts the murder sentence on you, watch out. Yeah. Jeez. All right, let's go back. We all good. We all. We all. We all. We all, we all, we all <laughs> Amen. And who's the standard? Who's the plumb line? Jesus. Jesus. As he loved. Yeah. Amen. They were, they were killing him on the cross. What, what did he say? Forgive them. Forgive them. I 
was going to say, uh, it also helps the environment the child grows up in and what they see displayed as what love is. Yep. You know, some people like tough love, always, you know, hey, pick up your stuff, you know, shut up, you know, stop crying, wipe them tears off your eyes. You know, uh, if you grow up in that type of environment, that's the type of love you probably going to give to other people because you feel that is love. It's, it, it's, it's the, also in the environment that you grow up in. Yeah, I would call it, I would call it love, uh, not the emotion. <laughs> and so that's why, I'm glad you said that, that's why I'm all itemized how you ought to do it. He said, do it in the spirit of meekness, yes. gentleness. Not, he's not talking about any way I can shape or form, show him love. He's not talking about that. Uh, because if I'm hurting and I'm pleased, I don't need you to come on and say, get out! Get out! Person uh, in in the body, uh, in the in the uh, body of Christ. Oh, yes, or in the church. Yeah, you know, you go to a wounded person, yeah. and all they display is is uh, like arrogant and pride, and you know, you're trying to make matters better, yeah. but it's like they 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 seem to have selective memory. And they keep bringing back old stuff, yeah. you know, that you're trying to overcome. And, and they showing arrogant and pride and, you know, I mean, what do you do? Yeah. You know, you're, tr you're trying to work things out and, and they continue punching, yeah. you know. And you can tell it's pride and they, they are angry and they are making excuses or whatever, you know, yeah. to, to try to say that, you know, I don't know. It just is confusing to me when you run up on a person like that. Yeah. You know. Well, notice it says restore. Right. Uh -huh. So that means it's a process, not going to be quick. If you got you try to reset the individual, that's the goal. And you got to restore them to the process. And that's why I said do it in the spirit of meekness and with the fruit of the spirit have long suffering. Right. And patience. Uh -huh. Now, the scripture also said, Jesus taught this in, in Matthew. He said, to agree with that adversary quickly. Uh, and, and, and though they uh, are displaying you know, that kind of attitude, that kind of mindset, well, okay, you're right. Let's, let's move on. <coughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Because yeah, the, the object is, is restoration. Yeah. Right? And at that point, they may not have, 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 have to see it like you see it. Huh? But, but your goal is to restore the individual. So in the point of restoration, you, you, you're trying to bring reconciliation. Uh, but Sister Margaret is the other thing. Sometimes it takes baby steps to help another person. That's right. You can't just like, like they're not gonna hear you with 
the big picture, they, they, you, sometimes they can only hear a little bit at a time. Uh, um, I remember going through something like that and the person um, had, had that same spirit of arrogance and they couldn't see it. And so the um, elder that I went to, they gave me the best advice. They said, listen, you pray for that person. Yeah. Because yeah. right now they can't see um, their haughty spirit, mm -hmm. but you pray for them and earnestly pray for them. Yeah. And as much as I was hurt yeah. by trying to resolve the situation, yeah. um, I did what that elder told me to do, and that was the best thing that I could have did. I just began to just earnestly pray for that person, almost to a point where I felt sorry that yeah. they couldn't see. That's it. Like, you know, Lord, help them to yeah. see, because of the love that you have for your brother or your sister, you come to the point where you just feel like, oh, yeah. help them. And then you help them, whatever they need. Yeah. You don't allow that. That, 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 that Holy Spirit or the issue yeah. or the problem to affect the way you treat Yes. And that's the effect of prayer. Prayer is a petition to the high. Jesus is going to decide to pray you. Least she also enter into what? Temptation. Amen. This is your Bible study here. This is the meat. This is the meat. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Not just pray, but pray fervently. Fervent. You have to, you have to really get into your prayer. Right. And and if you need to pray for hours at a time for that right. person, then do it. Because right. I remember years ago, I, w I I used to pray for a couple hours a day for all four of my children. They were no longer with me, and I would pray that. And when I prayed like that. I saw results. Right. Like Thank one you. one daughter was involved with drugs. She came out of that. Thank you. Thank you. Now look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna piggyback on what she said, what the Holy Ghost gave you. It was uh, when you pray fervently for the individual, also uh like it was uh, for the job, it said uh Jane, when you when you pray, uh, and you see your brother or sister in need. But what good is it that you say go and be filled and not give them the thing that they need? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. even though they, uh, lack of a better word, call like that, <laughs> you don't want to put them. Like Martin Luther King said when somebody uh, was trying to run him off the road, his brother said, oh, I gotta go get that guy. And if Martin said, no, 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 somebody got to have some sense. Somebody got to have some sins. Yes. Huh? Somebody got to have some sins. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Huh? Because they acting like that don't mean you are. Right. Be the bigger person. <laughs> it, it goes uh, back to. It goes good good back to. All right, see you another day. I'm gonna say when we limit God's ability to, uh, you know, save or deliver. You look at somebody and say, nah, I, I nah, nah, they, they just going to hell. You know, that, that, that's not good. You know, the, the, the thing that keeps me motivated to help people, I look at myself. I said, if he saved me, he can save anybody. You know, uh, he was patient with me. I, you know, uh, uh, be patient with other people. You know, uh, when, when you begin to start giving up on people as if God can't do yeah. it. You, you're risking your own salvation. Right. Because you done, you done put God down. That's true. God can do everything. Yeah, you know, and when you begin to start doubting God's ability, right. then you, 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 you on your way. And you know why? Because, because then we make ourselves judge. Huh? And God then, then, then we put ourselves in the place of God. <coughs> and he said this. Yeah. Then I'm going to get you to answer your question. Jesus said this. Yeah. How many times are you going to forgive your brother that trespassed against you? 79, 79, 79, 79. So it's a continuation. <laughs> no, I'm just going to make a statement. It, it goes back to 
uh, uh, we don't have to be right. Right! We don't have to be right. We don't! Yeah. Amen. That's you! Yes. Don't be afraid to ask for help from your fellow Christians. Absolutely. When, you, when you're, especially with family, because sometimes it's better that, that a stranger comes and talks to a family member, because family members tend to not have, have a harder time agreeing. Yeah, Jesus said that. A man will not, not without honor. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not the way it ought to be. No, I shouldn't. Yeah. But as, we, right. as long as we work it out with within the church family. Yeah. All right. Deep. Read. Where we at? Where we at? Verse three. All right. Hold on. Read two again. Bear ye one another's burdens. So I, I'll bear my brother's or my sister's burden. And Help them lift their heavy load. And so. Fulfill the law of Christ. Right, and that, 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 the law of Christ is what? Love. Love one another. Love one another as I have loved you. He's the, he's the example, right? Amen. Uh, not, not, not what Oprah says, right? Amen. Or Dr. Phil says, no. right? Right. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Not what your best friend says. <laughs> Now what the devil said, he talked to you on mm -hmm. All right? For if a man think himself to be something, uh -huh. when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Now he's talking about the individual who ought to be bearing uh, the burdens of others, that ought to be restoring his brother or sister. And he's saying that, that, that uh, when a person think himself to be something, all right, and that person's wrong. I'm superior in my mind. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna help them. And then he says, I'm at a zero balance. I'm nothing. Am I right? That reminds me of uh, uh, what's it? It was rich man and poor man. Poor man in the classroom. Yeah, he was a rich man. He bears socialism. Every day. Now, he's talking to somebody. Yeah. Huh? Sometimes we can bear socialism and God bless us and we can be somebody. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, but if it had not been for God, come on now. Come on. Huh? Yeah. If it had not been for God, thank you. Yes. Huh? Oh, God is the one. Yes. And then if we bear socialism, we got to be careful. Not to look down on anybody. All right, right. All right. Right? All right. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Amen. Follow? Amen. Amen. Scripture dance out. When we go to the grave, we're equal. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't take all your stuff, Jesus. No. Can't take all your stuff. Am I right? All right, read. All right. He said, he said, don't deceive yourself. If you think, if, he, if a man thinks himself to be something, when he is nothing, he does he what? Deceive himself. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be deceived. Amen? Amen. Uh, we all come up, well, some of us are very fans. We all come up the same way. Yeah. I wear dresses. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but let every man prove his own work. Ah, uh, but he said what? Let every man do what? Prove his, prove own, his work. own work. So he said, let every man uh, test his own actions. Uh, 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 test your own actions to see whether or not you're walking with God. Right. You're living right. Read what it said. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone. I then you can take pride in what you do when you're lining up right. with the scripture. Hmm? And not in a 
another. Yeah, and, and don't look down on somebody else. Don't be comparing yourself to somebody else. Like, like, like the individual with the Pharisee and a sinner came in to pray. The Pharisee smote his breath. Huh? No, he didn't smite him. He didn't smite him. He looked up to heaven. He said, God, I thank you. Huh? That I'm, I'm not like this sinner. Comparing himself. Huh? Don't walk in like that. Don't look down to a brother or sister and say, Lord, I thank you, I'm not like them. And you know, the reason why it's written in the scriptures is because people think like that. It exposes our heart. Yes. Amen. And then the sinner, he said, he stole his breath. He said, Lord, forgive me, I'm a sinner. Jesus asked the question. He says, which one we all justify? Mm -hmm. Amen. My God. And guess what? Yes. Ah, I ain't got no room to talk. Huh? You don't have any room to talk. <laughs> Man. When you, look, when you look down on a sinner, you're going to be below the sinner in God's eyes. So don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. So, so when you repeat that verse, the verse is number four. Four, you're right. Yeah, he said, but let every man prove his own work. Being like, he just said, but let every man uh, test his own action. Mm -hmm. You know, think about what you're doing. Yeah. Consider yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Examine yourself. And, and that shall he shall have rejoicing in himself alone. Alone. And not in another. Amen. So you take pride in what you do, how you live for the Lord. And leave other people alone. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> you know that Lord Williams brother song just popped in my mind. Take six months to mind your own business. <laughs> and then the other six months to leave other people's business alone. Yeah. <laughs> Sweep around, in other words, sweep around your own. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. I mean, come on, man. That's you Maryland. Right. You had it right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they both begin with an M. All right, All right, Maryland. Yeah, but last Thank week you he called Jesus. me Maryland. Twice. I got the other one. Man. Amen. 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 All right. Let him that is taught in the word communicate with him that teaches in all good things. All right, so he's saying, here he's, 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 he's changing, he's changing, he's shifting. And he said, let him that is what? Taught. Taught. So he, he's saying now he's changing his thought. He said, let him that is taught, read. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches. Now, he said, let him that is taught, let him communicate with him that is what? That teaches, that is taught. In, in all good things. In all good things. In other words, he's saying, those who are teaching through the word, Whatsoever a man soweth. Now notice what he said. Whatsoever a man soweth, you sow seed, don't you? Uh -huh. 
That is so. He also reaps. That shall he also reap. Huh? Give to me. Sow into me. If you sow into me.
Some fell on stony ground. Some fell by the wayside. That fell upon stony ground. Bible says, five came, ate it up. That fell by the wayside. Yeah, that's the wayside. Yeah. The one that sprang up that's the with joy right. received. Yeah. Which one is that? The good, the good ground. No. He sprang up and received it. And then when the sun oh, came that's up. That's the rock. Huh? That's the rock, isn't it? Yeah. That's what that was rock. And it comes out. And when the sun came up, uh, it went. Basically saying, it started out with joy. For a little while. For a little while. But then test the trials came. Jesus. Huh? Jesus. They grew in the town. Jesus. But that was all on the good ground. Huh? To the root. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. and, 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 and continue and produce what fruit? Yes. Yes. When what? When one of us was a keeper. Patience. Patience. You got to have patience over here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is a journey. This ain't a sprint. Huh? You got to wait.
patient could be work together. It's sort of like absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Amen. Yes. Praise him. Yeah, and it made the whole difference in my day. Absolutely. It's just like I had joy the rest of the day. It is very. So now she, she just gave you a weapon of warfare. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when you feel anxious and upset and impatient, sing unto the Lord. Thank you. <laughs> Praise him. May the melody in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Am I right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we thank God for those that came out to 